Previously on Zakia Loves Pinto. Let's go. My first name is Candace, actually. Very sensitive. I'm not gonna tell her that. Take that was shade. Here. My family is from Jamaica. I can't wait to be a Pinto. You know when you have two tight pants on and the pressure on your stomach is pressing? And then you think about why the hell did I wear this? And it's hot. Why did I put on this long sleeve shirt? Baby, it's not that hot actually outside. I feel like I'm having a- well, Why did a, you wear I'm it? I feel like I'm having you have a midlife crisis right now. Why did you wear like a pop top or something? I was trying to be cute. You have a lot of cute crop tops, babe. You had a thousand shirts to choose from. Is this what menopause feels like? No. Zakia is such a drama queen, but that's my baby. She thinks that she's experiencing menopause when she is nowhere near the age. And then on top of that, look what she got on. She literally has on full winter clothes. There's a reason why you're sweating, babe. Come on. No, that's, that, this is what being a woman feels like. Oh my gosh. So uh, I can't even imagine menopause. You on menopause. You got a long time to go, so you don't even need to be thinking about it. You, you told me the other day, you can't even imagine me pregnant. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. You said, like, it would be stressful with me pregnant, basically. No, not even stressed. Well, well uh, yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. because uh, yeah, 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 Hour trying to figure out what to wear. So yes, I'm so indecisive. Happily, my baby makes the choices around here. Thank you, Pinta. And you're a worrier on top of that. So, I mean, nine months of diagnosing yourself <laughs> with things that you don't have and having taste for things that are nowhere near the house. <laughs> Zakia pregnant is, is as uh, we'll have to have a nanny, a pre-nanny before the pregnancy because uh, she is a drama queen and she is super sensitive and she's gonna feel all kind of things that I, I, I'm gonna need some help. I'm gonna need some help. Yes, and lots of mood swings. You signed up for it. Did I? I got you and your vibes in my mind. I can get them out. No matter how hard I try, I need you when your heart is to mine. Yeah, I'm all about keeping it you and me. Imagine family ain't going up in there. Even with my millions, I am very frugal, okay? I spend money on things that I know is quality. I don't mind spending money, but $25 for, for a block that don't even have food, no food was added. Child, I can't do it, okay? And I love Belize. I love the Belizean community in LA, but I couldn't go to that festival. That was crazy. Put a little tent right here. We gonna be dancing in the corner. Start my own Belizean fest. I mean, I get it, you gotta make your money, but you gotta make it worth the 25. That's like a half a block. Not even a half, not even a half a block. Like, if no food should be included, I'm sorry. I'm hungry, let's go get some food. Oh my gosh, Inglewood has so many gems. Um, my favorite fish spot is Happy Fish in Inglewood. Stuff I Eat, which is a vegan restaurant on Market Street. And also, um, we jamming. Uh, we jamming right off of Manchester. You know, I grew up borderline Inglewood Crenshaw, really in the Crenshaw district. So um, in Lemur Park, uh, Aki Bamba was like so good as well and among just so many other restaurants. So you just have to really be in it and walk it and you'll definitely come across some really good cuisines in Crenshaw. Skin is glowing. 
Why you not answer, Papa? Oh, what? Mm. What? Mm? What going? What going with you? That basically means what's up, what's happening, how are you doing? It is a reference of checking up on you, saying what's good. It's it's all love when somebody asks you that. Where the? Where you at? At Uncle Grant? Yeah. Oh, oh, you rode your bike, Daddy. You be everywhere. I'm glad you're wearing your vest, vest uh, safeties first, you know, because these people are crazy out here. Growing up in the Crenshaw District, you're living the best of both worlds. On one side, it, it can be very hood. On the other side, then you have the black affluent families that live like in View Park and Baldwin Hills. Um, I lived on the other side, but I can't say it was necessarily like I'm dodging every day, but it was gangs especially growing up in the 90s and the early 2000s and you know you just have to just pay attention to your surroundings but the street that i grew up on you know i can't say there was any kind of crime on there it was a lot of older um families on there people kids were raised and you know came back and bought homes and so it's very quiet it's beautiful um, but then the next block over, it could be a whole nother story. So Crenshaw is like a gumbo of everything. All right, don't run up your, don't run up your GB. <laughs> All right, call, call me when you leave. All right, love you. Parents don't ever have clean phones. <laughs> ever. I don't know why parents always take the picture from that angle. Why do they do that? I don't know. They, they never can have a clean phone. You why is why? it always blurry? You know it's why? It's always blurry. Well, for one, if they're anything like my parents, they hate being on FaceTime. They hate being on any kind of camera. They think that the government is watching. They hold the phone this closely. Yes. The government doesn't so have you don't a get phone. a real recognition. <laughs> it might be me or it might not be me. <laughs> I don't understand. That has to be the only reason. We gotta get them up to the times, okay? We gotta get them up there. <laughs> we gonna have a parental class one-on-one -on, -one on how to take a selfie <laughs> and how to wipe off your camera at least three times a day. Babe, that might be a new business. That might be. <laughs> Mommy, did you cry when the queen died? We pull up at 7-Eleven. When do I have that? Really? Sorry. Are you serious? Yeah. It's for the one percent, unfortunately. Wow! Well, mm, every single time you put your, your wait, what's that? Uh, sit. Okay. Um, can you just see some, some lip balm or something? Thank you. 